All right, so uh, here's the situation. You can see the fire back there. I don't know if you can quite tell, but that's the, the fire burning back there. I'm here with the dogs. I've evacuated. We're at the um, Willow, wait, no, where am I? Where the hell am I? I don't remember where the heck I am. <laughs> it's a community that's not far, and this is their community center. And um, this, uh, they've got it all set up right here. It's an emergency thing. So they've got that building open. It's got Wi-Fi. That's how I'm talking to you. And uh, they've got some stuff. And then I'm sitting over here. Let me show you what's set up with the boys. So I've got the dogs right here. And uh, got them set up with their little beds and some water. And uh, the car is right here. And we've got it all set up. So if we have to stay the night, we will. Um, we've got a sleeping bag in there too. And it's all set up in here. And you can see that I left with just the essentials. These are um, all of our files. This is our personal files. This is, all, this is our personal files and this is all of our financial files and these each of these is the what would you call these a dossier for the dog for their trip to japan and my passport's in there this is all the clothes i've got um and then i've got my over here my work backpack with my laptop in it and with that wi-fi over there i'll be able to work tomorrow if i need uh, if i'm still here this is all packed with dog food um <laughs> what i forgot to bring was me food so i don't have any food but i heard that the red cross is coming so maybe they'll bring some food some human foods so i'm gonna make the boys dinner right now i've got their bowls right here one more bowl over there um and uh, if you're wondering about ollie he's sitting there he's got his cone because he's he's having some distress issues missing mama and been chewing in his paw but we've got that under control now with the vet huh it's a medication took care of that infection huh rudy and there's other people here the place is slowly starting to get more people as they're coming in there's another truck coming in right now see there's a sheriff's deputy over there letting us in and uh, i think we're gonna be okay now as for my tiny home uh, i don't know i basically it's something to say to have so little in the world that in a lightning minute you can have it all packed and gone there's no, i left nothing behind uh not nothing uh except for human food but it's interesting, it says a lot to the, to the state that I'm in in my life. When I'm so minimalized down to so much, so little that all that I needed was really the dogs and a couple of bags. And even the couple of bags didn't matter. So that's it, I'll sign up for now. I'm gonna feed the dogs and I'll take them for a walk. And then I'll uh, hopefully get some food myself a little later and we'll be good. There we go, see ya.